we are going to be doing a Overwatch tier list. I'm going to base this all off of my games and what I've seen in my games so far. So it's going to be a good one. We are going to be arguing back and forth until we get this tier list correct. But I just want to say right now, I don't think anyone can argue with Ball being S tier. Ball is a very, very good character right now. I, as much as I hate to say how good Ball is, I can hate that character, but he is a must pick. He is a very, he's a very good character. I think, I think Winston would be also a must pick, no? I think Winston actually is really strong. I want to hear Meg's input on this. What, what's your input on Winston being a good pick, Meg? Because Winston, with his chat, with his buff, he could go through. You put, you think Winston's A tier? Winston plus Discord. Uh, I guess you could say that. Okay, we'll put Winston in A tier. But I, I actually think Winston is, I think Winston is S tier. The only S tier tanks that I think are there are, are these two. Sigma, Sigma is a really good, uh, what do you call it? Sigma is overall just really good. I like him. You are so wrong. It's insane. How is she? How is she? Meg, you are Masters 4. Masters 4, okay? No. Look how she's trying to fix herself. Anyways, I think... Okay, fine. There. There. This is there. This is... This is there. Actually... Okay, Queen is really strong because I, I I see a lot of Queen. I see a lot of Winston as well, and I see a lot of Sigma. I don't know how you think Sigma is not S tier because Sigma is actually really strong on a lot of maps. I see a lot of maps with him. A lot of the maps that Ball's not good on, I see Sigma. But I'm going to be honest with you. Meg is here, and Meg is complaining at everything I do, chat, because she's sitting there just criticizing, just like probably everyone in the comments and, and, and whatnot, but yeah. I personally think Sigma's a very strong pick, and you will you cannot go wrong with picking him. I think Winston is a very strong pick, and you cannot go wrong with picking him. Junker Queen, if you are running a rush comp... Actually, no, if you're running a rush comp... I, yeah, with, uh, yeah. I don't think Roadhog's good. I also don't think Doomfist is good. I think Doomfist can kind of work if you have a Doomfist specialist on your team. But I don't think there's a lot of good Doomfist players right now. Also, Doomfist gets shredded with how... How, uh... Z with Zenyatta being picked all the time. Zenyatta... Zenyatta is a fucking 275 HP tank. Discord orb on Doomfist. Doomfist is dead. Nah, and that goes with Hog. Hog with Zenyatta being broken right now? Avoid. Wait, we have Reinhardt as well. Where's Reinhardt? Am I missing him? Where's Reinhardt, chat? Oh, right here. I don't think... I think Reinhardt is... I don't think Reinhardt's good. D tier is Wrecking Ball and Roadhog. You think Wrecking Ball is one of the worst characters in this meta right now? Help this guy, please. Nah. Chat, I'm gonna be ba I'm I'm basing this off the games that I play in. No, no offense, in your lower rank games, anything goes. Anything goes. I'm sorry. Um Arissa. I think Arissa is really good. Uh she 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 very strong. I don't think she is as good as Wrecking Ball, but Arissa is really strong. I think I think if you pick if you don't pick any of these tanks, these tanks are the best, and then these tanks are just shit. Ramatra, I think Ramatra's mid. Uh, Zarya as well. I don't think Zarya is good. I'm gonna put Zarya at C. I don't think Zarya is actually that good. Maga, yeah, a Maga. Maga is an avoid, bro. I'm sorry. I think I think since the season started, chat. The season started almost one week ago, and I've only seen two Zaryas. Both of them lost. Maga, I think I seen one Maga. I think he left the game because he was getting shit on and spawn camped. I think this is good though. I think this is good. Especially, especially. Oh, wait, we have D.Va. I think D.Va's A. I think D.Va's on par with Winston. I think D.Va's on par with Winston. Yeah, no, no, no. You know why? You know why? You guys are going to say, wow, J3, why is D.Va? No, D.Va's not S. You know why? Because in the tournament, the only team that we lost to was a fucking ball team. The only team, that, and, and we had Emong on D.Va. 
So that ball team fucking rolled. Well, he didn't even roll us. We barely lost, but they beat us. Because you suck because it's not that good. So you're saying Emong sucks on D.Va and, and that's why we lost. Okay, good. I'm going to tell Emong that tomorrow. Okay, you, chat, you guys heard that? Meg hates Emong. Write that on Twitter. Write that on in the YouTube comments. Write that in, in, in Emong's comments yes, tomorrow. And it's going to be so funny when Emong goes, Who the fuck is Meg? Okay, so that's going to be good. I think this... This is a really good... This is what I see in my games. This is what I see in my games, chat. Maybe a little bit more MAGA. Not MAGA, uh, Ramatra. I do see a little bit of Ramatra in my games as well, but he's not as good as these tanks up here. This is how I would go. I would rather prefer these tanks than I would get these tanks, and then if anything below that, I'm... Uh, no. Sad, my tank played hog and then swapped to maga yeah i'm gonna be honest with you you should swap that player to your avoids list you're welcome bro i just got you some i just got you some sr okay so now we're going to dps chat this is our this is our specialty uh bastion i don't think is good uh, all healers yeah my bad they're healers sorry chat you're right you're right healers uh bastion i don't think is good I, I I don't think that I don't think he's good because right now a lot of the a lot of the a lot chat a lot of the metas that you are seeing is ball tracer ash or sombra let's go actually let's go through this you see a lot of tracer ash a lot of I think May is a really good fucking pick right now, especially I, like we were going we were on a massive win streak with my fucking May uh, on some of the maps. Actually, I think she would be situational, so I'm gonna put A. And then I think Sombra is gonna be I think very strong pick as well. I think I think with the extra 50 HP that Sombra got, 250 HP Sombra is a very good character. Ash is an S tier character. You can never go wrong without pick with, with picking Ash. You can never go wrong with picking Tracer, uh, because especially it's it's chat. It's mostly of a dive. It's it's Tracer Ball or Tracer Winston, Tracer Diva, uh, Ash or Sombra or May, and then the supports. We'll get to the supports later. Um, Cassidy, I feel like would be... No, okay, Genji. I think Genji is going to be... I think I'm going to leave Genji in A. I don't think Genji is an S tier yet. I, I, I think, I think Genji would not be S. I think Genji would be A, chat. Uh, Cassidy, I don't know. I think Cassidy is very strong. 275 HP Cassidy, especially with the new hit scan changes. I don't know where I would put him, though. I don't think Cassidy's S. I think Cassidy would be a very strong pick. I, I would put him in A. Hanzo? I think Hanzo's mid. No offense, he can't really one-shot anything besides Tracer. I, I don't think Hanzo's good. Especially with the current meta, now. So we have Junkrat. I actually... I'm sorry, but I actually don't think Junkrat's good, even with the big ass fucking. Don't, don't, listen, Junkrat has big hitboxes, but the only reason why he's bad, chat, is not because of the uh, of his changes. It's that every character has more health now, so the he can't two shot. He can't hit you with one shot and then a mine. He can't do. That's like what? I think that's 240 damage. So if you have 250 health, you live. So, uh, he, I'm, which is good. I think that is good for the game. I think Junkrat is still kind of okay with, like, certain spots that are very choke-heavy and he can spam and be annoying, but I don't think he's actually a good pick at all. He can two-shot and melee combo if they are really good for most characters. I have never seen a Junkrat do two shots and a melee combo in my entire life. Even with lower health. I actually don't know how I feel about Farah though. I don't think Farah is actually a really strong character. I I don't see a lot of people playing her, especially with the the new changes that are done with her. So I'm gonna say Farah's mid. I think I don't I don't see a lot of those characters in my game right now. 
Um, Soldier 76, I actually think would be A. I think Soldier 76 is still a very consistent character with a consistent damage, and his Helix Rockets is still, what, five seconds? I still, I still think Soldier is really good. I don't think Soldier's S tier. No. Soldier, Soldier would be, I think, a very strong A, A, A pick. Um... I mean, I should say Farah is S tier because if you saw the guy, the the developer blog chant, um, Farah is really impressive on Junker Town, and that's why they changed Junker Town because Farah was really strong in a wide open map where Dwidos dominate. Yeah, that that's that that was a very good blog to read. Um, let's see. Damn, Echo? I think Echo is a really fucking strong character. I don't know if I would put Echo in S or Echo in A. Echo is really good right now, I feel like. But not... No, I'm gonna put Echo A. I think, I think what, what, what I'm... What... Here's my, here's my reasoning for Echo in A, chat. I think Echo is a really good ladder character. Ladder. Which I guess this is the whole thing that that's based on it, right? This is this this is all based on my competitive experience, but in in and on face it and in scrims that we were doing, nobody ran Echo. Nobody ran Flats and Jay are gonna have quite a bit of conf, uh, conflicting views this season. Well, the difference between me and, and Flats is that I don't spend six hours in the practice range. I actually play the game, and this is based off my ranked experience. Um. But I think Echo is really strong, especially if the other team has a Mercy. Okay, anyways. Uh, Reaper. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about Reaper. I think Reaper would probably be on par with, like, Hanzo and, fucking, like, you know, Far and all that thing. Or even in, like, even in C, maybe. But I'm going to give Reaper the benefit of the doubt because I do see people play Reaper a little bit more often. And it actually does sometimes work. And, and, it, and it's a little bit map dependent. Symmetra. I don't think Symmetra is good. I thought Symmetra was actually going to be really good because of the new passive, the 20% less healing, uh, and also the hitbox changes. I thought Sim was actually going to be a lot, a lot better, but I actually don't think Sim is good. I think, I think the only time Sim is actually really good is when you're on Koth and you're teleporting your team out of the, what do you call it, out of spawn. Uh, Torbjorn. I think Torb's map dependent. I feel like the only time you would switch either Ash or Tracer. No, you keep the Tracer. I think your second DPS should be Torbjorn on some maps. New Bonnie? Listen, New Bonnie first point, you run Torb. And then when you lose first point, you go Ash. That's what I'm saying. Hollywood first point, you run Torb. You lose first point, you go Ash. There's a lot of good po first points where Torbjorn is really good, dude. Chat. I'm going to teach you guys something really crazy in this game that you guys probably didn't know. When you're when you're on defense and you're holding a point, Torb is really strong on holding that point. And then, hear me out. This is going to sound crazy. If you do manage to lose that point, the first point, you guys could hit H in spawn and switch characters. We don't have to stay on that character for the whole game. Uh, Widowmaker, I still think Widowmaker is really strong. I think Widow's an A, definitely. I think I, they did something about the hitboxes with Widowmaker, but Widowmaker, I don't know. Chat, even I'm hitting headshots and it's crazy. I think Widow is Widow is a really good. I think they I think they might actually change Widow's hitbox shot. I think Widow Widow is really good. Um. Yeah, I also think even though Ash is more consistent, because this is my, this is my brain. A lot of people ask me what I do when I'm playing Overwatch. When I see an Ash on the other team and it's a very long sightline map, I'm playing Widow. Because Widow beats Ash in the long range, obviously, right? Ash can't one-shot Widow, but Widow can one-shot Ash long range. But if it's a close map, not that far range, Ash, I feel like, is very consistent, more consistent, and, and will take over the game. More than a Widow. Unless the Widow is, like, sniffed crack off his dad's ass, and he's just hitting every single headshot. But, like, if you're going on a Havana, I think 
Widow over Ash any day. Uh, so when I see when I see Ash Widow chat, when I see Ash Widow, mostly most of the time I would go Widow because you're counting the other Widow and you're actually counting the other Ash. Like you could one shot both of them. That's why I go that. I mean that's just something I do. Uh, Sojourn. Sojourn's not S tier chat. No, no, no. Please, please stop. You know, I should have probably actually made more stuff, right? So there's like a B and stuff, but you know what? We're not going to do that. I think... I think I think Sojourn is good. I'm going to put Sojourn in A, but I think Sojourn is going to be a low A. I don't think she's mid. I think she's still very strong. I do see a lot of Sojourns being played still. I, I, I even play Sojourn, I think. I, I think I have a lot of time on Sojourn, actually. Most of my time is on Tracer and Ash, though. And I think I think that's good. I think that's a good DPS tier list. I think Tracer and Ash are by far the most dominant characters being picked right now, in my opinion. I see that over almost every game. Sombra, we saw Sombra in the tournament chat. And Sombra in the tournament was actually really good. We had Apply and myself on Sombra against that ball team, and we were actually we we I think after that game that we lost, we won every single one. Genji, I think, is okay. I think he's good. Um if you're not running an Ash, I always think you need a Tracer, though. I always think you need a Tracer. If you're not running Ash, I think Cassidy could be good because Cassidy has Hinder and he can hinder the ball or the Winston or the Diva or whatever. Plus, he has 275 HP. I think he's 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 consistent on his damage. Um, Soldier 76, I think, is consistent. If you're if you don't want to run Ash, if you don't want to run Ash and you're good Echo, you can run Echo. Widowmaker is also really good on the long sightline maps. Rialto, Havana. Uh a lot of people are I I dude, I even started playing Widow on fucking uh King's Row. And then I think Sojourn is also really good if you're not running the Ash, but definitely keep the Tracer. The Tracer is definitely a must pick right now. Okay, chat. Healers. We're doing healers now. We are doing healers. Why Tracer is an S tier pick, a must pick? Well, first of all, you have the new DPS passive, which is 20% less healing for every single person that you shoot. Tracer can shoot a lot of targets. Even if you don't want to kill anything, you can just spray. And also, with the other characters being really good at diving, uh, you want to, yeah, go dive. Okay, what was that? Okay, anyways. Um, Life Weaver, I have not seen a. Why is Zen S? Nah, chat, I'm done. I'm not reading chat anymore. If you're wondering why Zen is S, you should probably rank up. Uh, that's all I'm gonna. I'm that. I'm being honest with you. Rank up. Get out of bronze. If you're in bronze, anything fucking goes, bro. Even going AFK somehow wins you games. Just nah. Uh, it does. I'm not mean. The truth hurts, bro. Get out. Nah. Zen is the most broken character. Zen is so easy to kill, brother. That's that's because you probably play in a rank where no one peel. Nah, I'm done. Anyways, continuing chat. I think Baptiste is still really strong. Actually, what would you think is the? I think Bap is still really strong. No, Bap Bap I think is a must pick. Bap Zenyana, so Zenyana can immortality. I mean, uh, Baptiste can immortality. I I also think. You guys want Bap A? Uh, you know, I think I think he's S. I think I think he's S. Kiri as well. Um, I actually believe Bap is better than Kiri right now, in my opinion. I actually I usually would put ba uh, Kiri in S tier because S uh, Kiri is broken, but I actually don't see a lot of Kiris. I see a lot of more Baps and Zens, and I also see a lot of Lucios. I think Lucio Zenyana is really good right now you have lucio for the the discord orb and then you have Lu uh, no you have zen for the discord orb and then you have lucio for the speed and if you're playing dive lucio peels for the zenyatta if the zenyatta is getting dove and also the new projectile size lucio sh bullets are the size of a fucking car yeah the team gets no healing you do realize if you have a ball and a tracer on your team the ball is never going to ask for healing because the ball is really fast and can roll around and get all the health packs and so can tracer and 
Tracer usually has the, the, the Harmony Orb that's on Zenyatta. You do realize that, right? And then if you do have an Ash, Zen, Baptiste, usually the Ash, Zen, and Baptiste are all stuck, are, are all like grouped up. You do realize that, right? If you if you have the Lucio Zen, you, you change the Ash to Soldier 76 or, you know, Genji or Sombra, and the Sombra's hacking health packs. And also the new passive, because healers don't fucking heal, they want to play DPS, you heal. Yeah, I don't know why I have to, like, explain all this stuff for you guys to understand. You guys should... Like, it makes sense. And then you have the Junker Queen. Why is Junker Queen in S tier? Because Lucio and Junker Queen, when you're when you're not playing Dive and you're playing a more Brawl and you get a May, that's really... Tr I, I don't know. Anyways. <sighs> and Laurie, I think, is... Yeah, people, I don't think people understand, I don't think people understand how valuable speed is. Speed determines and dictates, just like high ground chat, if you're on high ground, speed dictates when you go in fights or out of fights. If you're on high ground, like, Dorado, I hate that fucking map, but I'm using it as a, as a, as a thing, if you're on high ground and the team's under you, you drop off the high ground and you're initiating the fight. Like, speed gets you in and speed gets you out. It's it's very, very strong. And not even getting in and out. Speed for rotations and, and getting from one place to another is just really good. Oh... Yeah, Life Weaver. Actually, I think Moira is really good. I think, actually, no, not in ranked. I think here. No, 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 no. Do you guys not remember the face it? Listen, chat. If you guys don't remember what I'm talking about, go to my fucking YouTube channel, and and go click on the face it fucking games, bro. Our face it fucking games. If you go here, we were running the Mo we were running the Moira. Wait, where's the Moira? Can I can I look at the Moira? Can I look at the stats? Anyways, go watch this video and you'll see why. That video was on the new patch and 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 it's really good. I think Moira is really strong. She has a lot of healing potential and and she still has a lot of uh damage. Uh no, she's not S chat. No. Uh Life Weaver. What are you guys going to tell me Life Weaver is S tier 2? Uh, Life Weaver, I think, is an avoid. If you if you have a Life Weaver in your game, just just don't argue with that person. Just avoid them. Uh, no, Life Weaver is not good, Chant. Life Weaver is not good. I think Ana Ana, I think, is even better. No, Life Weaver is not goaded on new body. I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna put Life Weaver in fucking A because Life Weaver is good on new body. Come on. Life Weaver is an avoid. I'm a Life Weaver main. Exactly. Ana is the worst this patch. I see a lot of Brig, but I don't think Brig's good. Brig is easy. Brig is an easy target to, to kill, I feel like. If you're running... In my eyes, if you're running Zen, because Zen is a must pick, every team must have a Zen. If you're running Zen Brig and to have the Brig protect the Zen, Tracer's just gonna farm Pulse Bomb and then stick to Brig 24 7. I think, I don't think Brig is actually a really good pick. And and then Ash against Brig, yeah, I don't think I don't think Brig's good, chat. I don't I don't think actually Brig's good. And Mercy, I I actually don't think Mercy is a good pick right now. Even with Ash being good, I don't. I think the Ash Mercies, but I do see a lot of Mercies being picked. I I would either. I I would say Mercy's a C chat. Yeah, I actually don't think Mercy's a good pick right now, and Mercy's usually a very, very good pick. Nah. I think I think the only time Mercy's good is. If you are pocketing a, a pocketing a really good Echo player, or 
if you're on a map that has a lot of high ground and you're pocketing an ash and the ash is just sitting on the high ground. I, th I, I think those are the only two options. Because right now, like I said, chat, if a team is running Ball, Tracer, Zenyatta, Lucio, like Genji, and or or Echo, and they're diving you, and you're Mercy, I think you're you're not gonna have a good time. The Mercy is how's the Mercy gonna appeal for the other support player? I I the, what's actually really surprising looking at the uh, like the the games not playing in them. I actually think Kiri is a really strong character, but she's not a must pick right now. She she you can pick Kiri and make it work, but I actually don't think she's good right now. I think Bap, Lucio, and Zen are much better than Kiri. And also, what was it, what was I mostly surprised on? I was mostly surprised on Mercy. I think Rez. I think Mercy too surprises me. Mercy, Rez is such a strong ability. Bringing, being able to bring someone back to life and not have them wait ten seconds and another ten seconds. It's ten seconds to respawn and then like another ten seconds to walk back from spawn. I think you're saving a lot of time. That twenty seconds can add like adds up. Why don't you like Junkrat? It's not that I don't like Junkrat chat. It's just that Junkrat's not... <sighs> I hate Junkrat players. I hate Junkrat players. Is that what you want me to say? Junkrat players suck. There you go. I, I, don't, I don't know what you want me to say, bro. Is that the answer that you want? I, I don't know. Zen should have his own tier. No, I think... This is, this is how the list should go, chat. Strong? Shit. These are the characters you should pick in your games. Like, you should see a ball player on your team. If not ball, like Junker Queen. If not Junker Queen, these are the next best tanks to have that can work. And then your chances of winning go down the, the, these tanks. So if you, have a win, if you have a Wrecking Ball, you're in a really good spot. If you see a fucking Hog, a Maga on your team, you know to probably back out. Fuck it leave the game you probably are just going to experience the worst time of your life switch ball and diva you want me to switch put ball in a and then diva in s yeah after that chat i'm done yep i'm i'm not i'm not i'm not doing this i'm not doing this i'm not doing with it i'm not doing this bait i'm done nope i streamed for six and a half hours i can't talk about tier list with you guys i don't know how flats or emong or these other content creators do it because i'm gonna be honest with you some of your guys takes are completely fucking shit like, when I see some of your things that you guys type, my brain hurts. Your take is also shit. Yes, my take is shit, but I'm higher SR than you, and that's that's a reason. There's a reason for that. Because I'm not fucking running Junkrat and Symmetra in a fucking dive comp. Okay? I've been top 500 since Overwatch 1 has come out, chat. We'll see about next week if top 500 comes out, because I don't know if I'm going to beat it, but we'll see. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, your heart stuck masters. And what are you, bro? I bet you you're one of those people that come into my chat and they're like, J3, I was Diamond 2 Season P and Season 8, the highest I ever got, but now I'm fucking Silver 4 because of this MMR reset, brother. I think I should quit this game because I got fucked. Leave! Fortnite's free? Rocket League's free? Valorant's free? I'm done, chat. It's It's been fun. I love you guys. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I am, not, I am not trying to be toxic. But I would probably rather do a tier list on TikTok and have the TikTok comment section talk to me while doing a tier list. That's how bad it is. That, that's how bad it was. You, ha you just had a bad day. I understand. I went 13 wins and 6 losses today and ranked. I think today was a good day. Okay, friends, YouTube thinks you might like this next video, so let me know if they're right.